Obiora Mokolobia Agu, and is well known as Obiora Obi Wan. Thank you. Good morning, Obi Wan. Good morning. Uh, do you have anything to do with um, Obi Wan Kenobi? Uh, in, in the Star Wars movie, um, more or less. Um, as a child, um, there was an uncle of mine. I, I like Star Wars movie, and the, my name is Obiora. So first of all, we're shocked to see um, somebody answering Obi in a foreign movie. So <laughs> he started calling me Obi Wan, and then uh, when I started doing music, I, I adopted the name. Ah, okay. So it all came from be. Star Wars. Uh, yeah. Okay. And they took it from Africa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At age 15, you were writing songs and performing. Yeah. Um, where did that influence come from? Um, for me, uh, it's slightly different from, it didn't come from the church, funny enough. Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it came from basically listening to the radio and the television. I had an elder brother. Uh, my elder brother, his name is Kennedy, he loved the pop artists of those days. He had the cassettes, the Michael Jacksons, Bobby Browns and, and all that. So I just picked it up from there, I uh, started singing along and I started writing my own songs. But there's the <laughs> Mukolo Biagu um, yes. choir or something like that. Yes. Is that your father or yes. part of your family? Yes. My, my dad actually studied music uh, in the University of Nigeria. And he uh, also was a classical composer, folk classical music. Uh, but he didn't want to encourage any of us to do music because uh, during their time, I mean, um, you basically had a name as a musician and mm. uh, not much else. Uh, well, no. you didn't require much encouragement from him, did you? <laughs> I didn't. I, I guess <laughs> probably the genes or something. So. Okay. But let's look at um, your music. You, when you came out, you came out with songs like um, Obi Moore. Yeah. It's talking about it's a love song, right? Sure. Then you had Oinye. Yeah. Those are two of your major hits yes. back then before yes. in before you well moved into gospel music. Yes. Um actually when I had done um when I did Obi Mo was um it was in my first gospel album. Okay. But being a love song and people had known me for love songs, that totally eclipsed all the other <laughs> all the other <laughs> songs there. <laughs> Um, what happened was that um, when so I... So Onye was actually before you yes, went into yes. gospel? Yes, Onye was my first hit. Okay. And then uh, but when I got into the music industry, uh, it was overwhelming for me. Um, and I wasn't even, I wasn't like a serious Christian when I went into the music industry. Uh, but I, I, I saw a life that scared me, you know, and I was, uh, you know, participating in it. So I'm like, if I continue this way, um, I don't think I'm going to end up well. I liked uh, what I saw in my parents, nice, quiet home, family, children, having fun. And I, I was very scared I was not going to have that with the way I was going. So uh, <laughs> the first thing I did was like, OK, let, let's settle with God. Let's, you know, find God and then, you know, be a good Christian who sings R&B. But uh, the closer I got into God and started getting close to the church, I, my, my calling was clear in my ear that God wanted to use my music. In the gospel. Mm -hmm. So how has it been since that switch? Ah, intriguing. Intriguing is the word. <laughs> um, awesome. Um, I've learned what it means to walk with God um, and to live by faith. Is it paying the bills? Or sure. you have to find some other source of income sure. to pay the bills? Uh, we must always work. Um, one thing I've learned you know, when you walk with God, it might not come directly from what you do, but one way or the other, he provides for you. So um, I've been blessed to, to be able to take care of my home. And um, I can't complain because God is faithful. What, um, what do you think of the entertainment industry in Nigeria now? Uh, it's come a long way. It's not there yet, but it's not where it used to be. It's so, not there yet? Yes, but mm. it's not where it used to be. Okay. Uh, so we are, we are hopeful. Okay, all right. So um, this is the beginning of 2016. Yes. What are we looking forward to seeing from you this year? Okay, uh, my fourth album is in the works and I uh, just saw a video of one of the new singles called uh, Bunibe. Uh, the name of the called? album Bunibe. Bunibe, which means what? Keep lifting. Okay. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, 
And then um, um, the album's called Floodgates. Uh, we want to put it out uh, by the third quarter, hopefully. Um, the video you're watching is Heal My King from my last album in 2013. And we thank God for all the successes from that. And then um, we, we're coming out with more videos and uh, more music. Okay, um, Obiora, Michael Obia Agu. Thank you. Obiora, Obi One. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Okay, so um, thank you very much for watching us this Saturday morning, the last Saturday of February. Mm -hmm. We'll see you again next month mm -hmm. with a fresh edition. My name is Alero Edu, wishing you a happy weekend. And I'm Neil Taib. We want to thank all of you that sent in comments. No matter what, Boonie Bay, let it go, don't let it shake you. No matter situation, Boonie Bay, don't let it fool you. I don't know they die with a leap twice if you just Boonie Bay.